Hello, welcome to my channel, uh, Hunter2323. My name is Ty. I'm building this channel, so if you like the content, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and like the video if the content is good for you. So I'm doing a video series on modifying my Singer 20U Professional with a servo motor uh, brushless and I'm going to attempt to show you why I ran into issues and how I made some changes and how I'm going to change those again. So uh, here we go. So I'm including a delineation of some of the issues that I struggled with. The Singer 20U with the clutch, and you can look at other people who have a clutched uh, single belt Singer 20U, and what happens is, is if you engage the actuation of engaging the clutch with the foot pedal, that thing takes off. Now, I've sewn uh, some large taxidermy rugs, and uh, and in the process of that, it, at times it's nice to be able to sew long distance in a quick, uh, easy way, but I've found that it hasn't helped me at all. So this machine, as it comes from the factory, uh, for me, it's just too fast. So I opted to put in the three pulley, uh, 369 uh, pulley speed reducer. And that speed reducer helped a lot. But one of the things I, again, you'll hear me say, uh, the belt configuration did not allow me to change the bobbin with ease. And so I opted uh, to, I've opted, and then, and then, and you'll see here in the in the next video. I opted to go for a uh, servo motor. They're smaller. They're more speed control, and um, the uh, the servo motor that I chose, and I did a fair amount of research. Um, I decided that because I was going to be sewing some heavier four, five, and six ounce material that I needed to have something around one horsepower. There are a lot of servo motors available that are under uh, a one horsepower and do a fine job. But for me and my need, that's what I chose. So the, the horsepower, uh, the uh, uh, you know, there are a lot of servo motors out there. But I chose the uh, Conso CSM 6, 000, uh, 3000, Oops. and you know it's uh, it's a 750 watt one horsepower, and it comes as you can see with the uh, the servo motor controller cover for the belt, uh, the motor mount, and the s switch for uh, starting the motor running. Uh, some linkage and the motor and uh, you'll see in the next video how you know that all configured out for me uh, I purchased mine through Amazon you know it's 170 bucks but uh, I think after what I've done so far is well worth it so that's just a statement of some of the problems and what this solution is supposed to do for me so here's the Singer 20U in all its glory. It's on a K stand. And uh, you can see underneath that I've uh, modified the belt drive from clutch motor to reducer, then to the machine. And one of the things I didn't plan on was that I can't just tip the head back and uh, change the bobbin. So, uh, in order to work that out, 
It, see, it, does, it just doesn't go back. And what I want to do is put in the servo motor and rearrange the uh, reducer and rebelt it as necessary. But um, it is going to be a bit of a project. So today I am going to uh, begin the process, first of all, by getting the head off of the, t off of the machine. And that's not easy for me. I'm disabled, so I only get one arm to use. So we're going to get that off of the machine. And if I need help, I'll have to get help down here. So hang on. So I'm going to start with a statement of the issues. Uh, why originally I modified the Singer 20U with a clutched uh, motor and then uh, with the, I think you can see it in the video, a uh, uh, a speed reducer and um, that now why I'm going to modify the 20U with a servo uh, motor with a speed reducer. So I'm hoping that out there in the land of people who are running machines that this particular video will be useful and helpful to you as you make your uh, make changes to your machines. So here we go. The first thing is uh, when uh, when I got the machine, there was a these are my props here. The clutch pulley is that was down here and the hand wheel is up here and what what that allows you to do is to tip the machine back on this peg so you can change the bobbin and I was all fired up and you know ready to go for it and so I changed to the uh, reduction 369 reducer from the pulley of the clutch motor to the widest and then from the narrow there to the hand wheel here and that worked good I've done a bunch of sewing with it but here's what happened in order to change the bobbin I couldn't uh, I couldn't tilt the machine back it wouldn't let me so I would have to loosen and move the uh, the speed reducer and uh, just has a little show and tell here um, I, I didn't have the right size Allen to do that so I found a, a nut uh, actually would be the head of a bolt that fits in the uh, the Allen key hole of the tightener for the speed reducer and that allows me to pick it up and I still have another bolt that I do Okay, so once I'm able, you know, I'm needing to fill the bobbin. And so now I can lift this reducer wheel and disengage the belt. And now I have the ability to tilt back the head of the machine and change the bobbin, which is underneath here. So uh, that was uh, not a difficult task, but it was something I really got tired of doing. So, again, just to kind of show that to you, we you need to get into the bobbin. You can't really do it under here. You probably could figure it out. 
but I wasn't ready to do that. And additionally, there's a number of places under here that need lubrication on a regular basis. And so having to figure that out was a problem. The, the advantage of removing the, um, apologize for all the wobbling around here. The advantage of removing the clutch drive motor is that this thing weighs about 35 pounds. And the uh, Conso, which is still in the box, uh, servo motor, it weighs, you know, like less than 10. And so, you know, we you make these changes as you go, not necessarily on the fly, but certainly um, as you discover what it is that you want to do with your machine. So uh, one of the other challenges was, not that I ever removed it, but the belt that goes back to the servo motor, you had to undo this in order to undo that belt. And so that's really the task at hand. Next is to remove the head. And in case um, it takes me a few days to get back to this, I always say people accepted and lives changed.